Integrated Marketing Communications. These questions are the learning objectives guiding the chapter and will be explored in more detail in the following slides. How do customers perceive marketing communications? Why are some media channels growing while others are shrinking? How should firms use marketing metrics to plan for and measure IMC success? The carbonated beverage market has many brand loyal consumers who stick with their favorites and their consistent drink patterns. To increase its market share, a company needs effective branding, global expansion, and effective retailing. It also requires an approach that ensures companies can communicate the value of their offerings in diverse, well-rounded ways. Integrated Marketing Communications IMC, represents the promotion P of the four P's. The goal of IMC is to ensure all the various marketing mix elements work together to deliver a consistent message. The communication channel is the medium, print, broadcast, the internet, that carries the message. This slide illustrates the consumer communication process. The message originates from the sender, who must be clearly identified to the target audience. The sender develops marketing communications and works with its advertising agency, the transmitter, to develop the message. The sender's ideas are then encoded or converted into a message. The communication channel then carries that message to the consumer. Noise is any interference that stems from competing messages, an unclear message, or a flaw in the medium. The feedback loop allows the receiver to communicate with the sender, and thereby informs the sender whether the message was received and decoded properly. Each receiver may interpret the sender's message differently and senders often adjust their message according to the medium used and the receiver's level of knowledge about the product or service. Smart ones use contextual cues to help decode the message. In addition, the statement, guess who left cereal out in the cold, alerts readers that this is a substitute for breakfast foods. The ADA model provides a basis for understanding how marketing communications works. This model suggests that awareness leads to interests, which lead to desire, which leads to action. At each stage, the consumer makes judgments about whether to take the next step in the process. Dogs and babies are very good at attracting awareness or advertisements. Even the best marketing communication can be wasted if the sender doesn't gain the attention of the consumer first. A multi-channel approach increases the likelihood the message will be received. After the consumer is aware that the company or product exists, communication must work to increase his or her interest level. Consumers must be persuaded that it is a product worth investigating. After the firm has piqued the interest of its target market, the goal of subsequent IMC messages should move the consumer from I like it to I want it. The ultimate goal of any marketing communication is to drive the receiver to action. If the message has caught consumers' attention and made them interested enough to consider the product as a means to satisfy a specific desire of theirs, they likely will act on that interest by making a purchase. Sometimes consumers don't act immediately after receiving a marketing communication because of the lagged effect, a delayed response to a marketing communication campaign. It generally takes several exposures to an ad before a consumer fully processes its message. Measuring the effect of a current campaign becomes difficult because of the possible lagged response to a previous one. Now check yourself. One. What are the different steps in the communication process? The sender, the transmitter, encoding, the communication channel, the receiver, noise, feedback loop. 2. What is the ADA model? Awareness, interest, desire, action. To get the right message to the right audience through the right medium, an IMC planner must understand how each medium communicates and how to combine it with other media to generate the most impact.
Perhaps the most visible of the IMC components, advertising, is a paid form of communication from an identifiable source, delivered through a communication channel, and designed to persuade the receiver to take some action, now or in the future. Advertising is extremely effective for creating awareness of a product or service and generating interest. Personal selling is the two-way flow of communication between a buyer and seller that is designed to influence the buyer's purchase decision. Customers can buy many products and services without the help of a salesperson. But salespeople simplify the buying process by providing information and services that save customers time and effort. In many cases, sales representatives add significant value, which makes the added expense of employing them worthwhile. Sales promotions are special incentives or excitement building programs that encourage the purchase of a product or service. Sales promotions can be aimed at both end user consumers and channel members. Used in conjunction with other forms of IMC, sales promotions can be used for both short term and long term objectives. The component of IMC that has received the greatest increase in aggregate spending recently is direct marketing, or the sale and promotion techniques that deliver promotional materials individually to potential customers. Direct marketing allows for personalization of the messages, a key advantage. The increased use of customer databases has contributed to the rapid growth of direct marketing, and new technologies have opened new direct marketing channels. Public relations is the organizational function that manages the firm's communication to achieve a variety of objectives. Public relations activities support the other promotional efforts by the firm by generating free media attention. In recent years, the importance of PR has grown as the cost of other forms of marketing communications has increased. At the same time, the influence of PR has become more powerful as consumers have become increasingly skeptical of marketing claims made in other media. Electronic media are growing in terms of potential to reach customers. Four important areas include websites, corporate blogs, social marketing, and online games. Firms are increasing their emphasis on communicating with customers through their websites. They use their websites to build their brand image and educate customers about their products or services and where they can be purchased. Corporate blogging has risen from obscure, random company postings to a valuable web edition in virtually no time. A blog contains periodic posts on a common web page. Corporate blogs that connect with customers also prompt sales increases because the company can respond directly to customers' comments. Social shopping is a communication channel in which consumers use the Internet to engage in the shopping process by engaging preferences, thoughts, and opinions among friends, family, and others. Customers or users review, communicate about, and aggregate information about products, prices, and deals. One particularly successful way to reach younger consumers is through short online games that allow consumers to interact with the site and possibly other players. Now check yourself. 1. What are the different elements of an IMC program? Advertising? sales promotion, public relations and personal selling, electronic media, direct marketing. As with any strategic undertaking, firms need to understand the outcome they hope to achieve before they begin. These goals can be short-term or long-term in nature and should be explicitly defined and measured. Firms use a variety of methods to plan their marketing communications budgets. The objective and task method determines the budget required to undertake specific tasks to accomplish communication objectives. Rule of thumb methods use prior sales and communication activities to determine the present communication budget. Various rule of thumb methods can be used to set budgets, such as competitive parity, percentage of sales, or affordable budgeting. Although they are easy to implement, they obviously have various limitations.
After a firm has decided how to set its budget for marketing communications and its campaigns have been developed and implemented, it reaches that point that it must measure the success of the campaigns. Every communication may be measured in terms of frequency, how often the audience is exposed to a communication within a specified time frame, and reach, the percentage of the target population exposed to a specific marketing communication. Marketing communications managers usually state their media objectives in terms of gross rating points, which represents reach multiplied by frequency. Technology has introduced a host of new products for tracking online communications, as well as new communication formats. Web tracking software indicates how much time viewers spend on particular web pages and the number of pages they view. Online couponing is a promotional web technique in which consumers print a coupon directly from a site and then redeem the coupon in a store. Using online referring, consumers fill out an interest or order form and are referred to an offline dealer or firm that offers the product or service of interest. There are many metrics that are used to evaluate the results of a search engine marketing. A small sneaker store named La Bodega in Seattle could look at their Google advertising results by evaluating the data on clicks, impressions, click-through rates, and return on investment. For La Bodega, we see the total cost in column 3 and the sales from AdWords in column 4. The ROI in column 6 is higher for sneaker store due to its lower cost, even though the sales were a bit lower. It is important to realize that metrics give us only a part of the consumer research needed to make decision. There are other communication objectives that would be better understood through a survey of customers. Here are some communication objectives for La Bodega and the questions that would be best asked through a survey. Now check yourself. 1. What are three rule of thumb methods used for setting IMC budgets? Competitive parity, percentage of sales, affordable. 2. How would a firm evaluate the effectiveness of its Google advertising? Return on investment, ROI.